cat's getting warm on the Jeep. Ruby getting warm on the plow truck. You're not supposed to be up there, little lady. Well, this is hopefully the last time that I will need to do this this winter, but I need to get the snow as far away from the building as I possibly can as it starts to melt. There's now a real concern with how fast the snow is going to melt and where it's going to go as it melts. So before the ground thaws, it's really important that I get as much of the snow away from the shop and away from the house And on top of that, we now have 13 goats that would love a little extra elbow room. While working away at moving the snow around out here, my oldest son, Rhett, and his boss came riding up to visit me on their snow machines.
It is not necessarily a great time to buy a snowblower if it's snowing outside, but it can be a great time to buy a trencher for the skid steer for once that snow melts. But as far as the propane tank is concerned, I want to paint it. I'm using a very fine flap disc to remove the vinyl that's been on this tank for many years, but I'm working very hard not to get down to the metal. I'm getting down through the paint and into the primer a little bit, but I'm not getting down to the metal. Once the vinyl stickers were removed, I used an orbital sander and 200 grit sandpaper just to clean things up a little bit. So that once the weather changes, I'll paint this with a special paint that should protect it all for a very long time. I'm using the torch to clean things up a little bit and get it cut back closer to maybe a half of an inch instead of an inch. And then again, I'm going to very carefully use my angle grinder to clean the edge up without touching the tank. But before the snow melts, I want to roll the tank back on its side and install the Class 300 blind flange so I can pressure test the tank to 250 PSI. Again, I'm using the very fine flap disc to get rid of any slag, but I am not touching the tank with the flap disc. Once the blind flange has been installed where the pump was previously installed, I still have to change a couple of valves on the front of this tank here, but then it's ready to be pressure tested. And once it's pressure tested, it's good to go. So over the next couple of weeks, I'll get these things done and the tank ready for propane. On our next video, I'm going to get back on the shop as I will be watching very closely as another storm settles in this weekend. The only difference is it's going to be a rainstorm. And once the rain gets under the snow, things can get really dangerous. Over the next couple of weeks, we're going to be watching the snow very closely to see how fast it starts melting off. And in the meantime, we're going to see if we can't get a whole lot done on the shop.
So these are the very special gasket that I'm using with the uh, blind flange, the block off plate for the uh, bottom of the bobtail propane tank. So I need to very carefully roll that thing onto its side, put the blind flange and the gasket on it, then I have to torque it to spec, which is about 100 PSI, and, uh, and then I have to tip it back. And in the middle of this, it's snowing, but it's also starting to get real warm, and I'm afraid if I don't do this soon, the snow is gonna get bad enough over here that it's gonna turn into, uh, it's gonna get muddy. And I wanna have all this done before I have to worry about that. So, so on our next video, I'm gonna tip that on its side, get this installed. And then I have to make a couple of changes to these valves on the front, and then we're gonna pressure test it. And then I'm gonna paint it and pressure test it and get it ready to be used. But we're in the middle of spring starting to happen now, so it's still cold. Uh, but by the end of the week, it's supposed to be 40 for a high. So it's going to turn into an absolute mud hole up here. Um, but I still have to get all this stuff done. So 